Mycodo Clinic, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, discuss about the packings which uh, what we get from the company side, why they have developed such kind of a packing and uh, what kind of a reason behind it and all those information. Uh, I mean uh, this type of information I'm going to share with you. I hope you have enjoyed my all the videos. I'm trying my level best to tell you or give you the such kind of information which is very vital and not available even on the internet. So let's talk about the so packing. This is the uh, barrel packing or the block packing from Enfield only. I'm working one of the on one of the engine right now. So uh, this is torn out and uh, don't worry I'm not going to reuse this is just a uh, scrap now but I have kept it just for the video purpose. Now what's the reason making such kind of a video particularly for the packing. There are many types of packings available in the market and from company side as well. There are some gaskets also there are some o-rings also. Uh, the subject is related to only packing right now. So let's talk about this but one thing I would like to share wherever there is a gas related spare then you have to say that it's a gasket this is not a gasket this is just a packing right because this comes in between the barrel and the crankcase so uh, what is the purpose of uh, this kind of a construction what you can see right now here there's a metal mesh then the asbestos packing material and you can see one red line this particular red line this is the reason that i'm making this video because uh, such information is not available on the internet right so what's the purpose of having this red line? Red line is basically a special chemical which activates only on the heat. So when the heat, uh, when the engine gets heat up, uh, when it comes to peak level, peak heat level, so at that time this chemical compound basically starts activating itself and it starts sticking to the barrel as well as to the crankcase. The red line is from the both side. So generally what we what you get from the aftermarket, you won't be able to have such kind of a packings from the aftermarket companies. Only OEM companies makes it or uh, because this is make to order and this is a special type of uh, packing. Only few companies I can say if they are like uh, uh, really or uh, they are supplying such a uh, spare part to the company then there is a possibility you may get it otherwise not possible so the red line is the basically special chemical this is the asbestos and the metal part or the metal mesh is sandwiched in between two asbestos sheets that is also different kind of a composition not a normal asbestos i should say um the red line is chemical which gets activate uh, once you start the engine so this is for to stop the leakage what happens generally when you assemble the engine and if you go for a ride or something and if you see some kind of a sweating oil sweat uh, then don't come to immediately one con uh, such kind of a conclusion that the technician or the mechanic have done something wrong unless and until he have used some kind of a um, duplicate or you know non OEM product or su not such kind of a product if he has used it then don't worry about it it takes some time because of the heat only if you see oil sweat around the crankcase or the barrel then you have to wait for some time once the heat is getting uh, heat is acting on this red line or the red chemical it start sticking to both the surfaces to the crankcase to this portion and to this portion after after some more kilometers you will see no sweating or just kind of a you know seepage of you know very light oil but don't worry about it it's not a leakage so uh, nothing is going to happen but if you don't use oem product then 101 percent it will keep on sweating around all the time unless and until you replace it replacing such kind of a packing which is not that easy because this is not a two-stroke engine where you can lift up the block or the head immediately in one you know one minute and you know you can change the packing immediately it's not possible because you have to go through a lot of uh, exercise because you have to remove you know rocker covers and rockers and the push shots and everything and again you have to set the vehicle in timing and everything so a lot of things are there it is not so easy so always remember try to use uh, packings which are specially made so in old bullets like the 350 standard or 500 you won't see uh, because earlier the technology was not like that I'm not saying that the technology was worse always whatever the technology was there at that time it was the best for that time and companies keep on improvising they keep on implement the material so uh, older technology was not bad of course for that time but if you compare now then yes there is a possibility you may say that the older spares or the older gaskets or the packings are not good because engine keep on leaking so to avoid that See, we always learn from our mistakes, right? So uh, it was not a mistake, but it was a learning point, right? 
one somebody makes a mixed mistake and we learn out of it so we don't make a mistake and we go for something else right so this is what happened in this case also when uh, they when the company was having normal kind of a packing paper packing and uh, copper gaskets at that time engines were leaking but later on company started understanding that if we have such kind of a material then it won't leak so there will be less you know problem of leakages so such kind of a products were available only after you know lb series like machismo or the avr engines 350 and 500 were having such product but not um, uh, standard 350 old i mean later on uh, when about to phase out these products at that time company started giving such kind of a product but um, before that it was just a normal packing so in uc engines and after uc engine uh, till you know uh, say himalayan and Inter interceptor they have given such kind of a product only so this gets activated because of the heat and the leakage stops immediately it takes some time not in uh, not a uh, you know One kilometer job or something. It takes some time uh, because of um, because of the peak temperature. We need a peak temperature to activate this uh, chemical. So thanks for watching and uh, keep on watching all my videos. I hope you are enjoying all the thing. Thank you.